Yo, what's good, y'all? I just want to talk about my experience with Undisputed so far. I played about, I don't know, maybe, <laughs> I put it a few hours, I'll say that. I don't have, hold on, let me turn this music off. All right, whatever, streamer mode is on. I guess that's gonna have to do. I didn't play like actual online matches. I just used Parsec and played with my friends, so. Um, I didn't record too much of that. We were kind of just getting the feel for the game. If we even, I was just chilling to be honest with you. So, I really, really do like what they did with the stats. I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I was saying with the stats, so for like Sugar Ray, for example, right? So if you press X on the boxer, it brings up this page. It has like the overall in each category. And if you press the bumper, the right bumper once, it shows you the individual attributes like in that category, right? So everybody's gonna have different things. So like for the, the vitals, everybody has different, like a health pool. Um, I didn't look through everybody's, I don't know who has the highest and the lowest, um, but if you go through these, you can see like some people have a, a better chin than others. Some people's body is better. Um, block health, I think it's mostly gonna be the same. Late game, those like block regeneration and um, stamina regeneration, health recovery stuff like that that actually takes effect in like the longer fights you have so i lost a fight against um i, I forgot who i was playing against i'm gonna be honest oh who i was fighting against but um like after like the sixth round he was getting he was gaining back like four percent stamina i was getting back like two so it does factor in sometimes but it, it just depends on the the fight itself we look at canelo right so he has this trait body work right so that's probably something you want to throw in your game plan if it's helping your your fighter so he gets a boost for going to the body basically so muhammad ali he gets a boost for um counter attacking doing counter punches stuff like that deontay wilder he has the the strong <laughs> um street punches street power punches so some people have like damn he gets does that stack That's kind of beast. So you throw a straight power punch to the head for an extra 25%. And then powerhouse increased damage of power punch is thrown by 20%. That, that, does that stack? We'll find out. But <laughs> yeah. So just building around your, your character's like actual attributes and uh, traits probably will win you a lot of games. Like my favorite right now is Roy Jones, right? Even in like Fight Night, I was the type of person that do a lot of like weaving and stuff like that like i was uh like a counter fighter i guess if you want to call it so with that new mechanic with the loose footwork and stuff like that i i like to use somebody like roy jones where he has like the a boost for being in loose um footwork or whatever or loose movements are so when you enter that loose movement you get a increased chance of knocking somebody down or knocking somebody out but you also take more damage in this this state so He's getting that, but like, I was about to say times two, but a 25% increase on top of the, the boost that you already get for being in that. So it's kind of like a, they explain it as a dual edged sword. All right, so there was somebody at the door, my bad, my bad. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Bounce back, okay. When you're gassed out, increase stamina regeneration by 20% until no longer gas. That right there is amazing, because, <laughs> um, I don't spam power punches or anything like that, or just smash buttons, kind of like you would do in Fight Night. You know, I don't really do that. But um, even so, you still lose stamina crazy quick, which is it, it's fine. It's not to the point where it's like I throw one punch and I'm tired. Um, maybe in the later rounds, like me and my boy Crit, we went to like 12 rounds one time. And that's the only time that I was like, damn, I really have to pick and choose my punches because I got like one or two punches before I'm like, absolutely gassed so okay i don't have my headset on so i hope it's not too loud for you guys but um i hopped into a game because there's only one thing that i didn't really like in the well there's two things um we played about my bad we played about i don't know we played about 10 matches last night like in a row and we only got a knockout one time so it's it's not hard to knock somebody out. It just, it feels rare. When I did get the knockout, I got like four counter hits in a row. Okay, so it's already, I don't know if you guys can notice it, 
with me just walking around like in a circle or whatever i don't know if y'all see the motion blur that is not my computer i promise you i hate motion blur in every game i turn it off i, I don't have it in cod i don't have it in anything I, even 2k has motion blur i don't know why other than that the game feels good like moving around and stuff like that it's just it's just the motion blur when when the camera's rotating and stuff like that that, that that's it yeah maybe it was just the, the boxes i was using but not everybody can you know knock somebody out for real like like in fight night it's just like i feel like i can pick anybody up and as soon as i get a couple good hits maybe a counter or so then i'll get a knockout but in this game you can be fighting amazing on the outside getting counters slipping or all that the the power hits some of them aren't really that like if i throw this hook right here it's like really televised like you can you can see i'm throwing that so even like when my boy was trying to hit me with a power hit i can literally just slip backwards slip to the side um you still have the the normal weave but the longer you're in this the the worst of motion goes the the worst your range of motion goes i'm sorry you see he has a cut on his left eye or his left side somewhere has a cut i don't know if that means his eye it, it's it looks like it's on his eye yeah so they show you like if you got cuts and stuff like that and which side it's on after the round i can probably go for that eye a little bit more i don't know if it does a little more damage it makes sense to me but um yeah my only complaint in the game was this right here motion blur because when you i mean obviously we're not gonna walk around in circles around each other but it, it's enough to notice at least for me i don't know oh another thing it's hilarious and i hope i get it on film soon so i actually knocked somebody out with a power uppercut and their body went flying bro it was hilarious i need to i really need to get that on on, on film bro oh yeah the other thing that i've seen a lot of people talking about was like the impact of punches um like if you hit somebody to the body with a good body shot they like whole body ripples and <laughs> that's kind of, it's cool though because I, I don't know i feel like if you get punched that hard and yo check i should see some like so to the body it seems cool sometimes the head is a little wonky like um i seen somebody head full turn back but you know uh so i don't know if you guys just seen it right there um I'll probably slow it down, but it was like a little body ripple. Like that's that's cool. Um, but yeah, so like hitting to the head with like a power punch sometimes it will like fully turn somebody's head, and that's, I mean, yeah, it, I like it looks good. It looks good. I don't know. But I've I've seen it where they like full exorcist, <laughs> just they whole head turn. But yeah, everything feels good though. I I like the game. It's just sometimes you don't feel like you uh really doing damage too much because you're not really throwing as much power punches like you really need that that yeah opportunity for that